Does anybody come to bless the Lord today? To magnify the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Anybody come to get into the presence of God today and say, this is the day the Lord has made. This is my breakthrough day. This is my healing day. This is my prosperity day. This is my joy day, my overcoming day. Glory to God. Why don't you stand with me? We're going to open with prayer. Lord God, we love you, we praise you, and we magnify you in this house. Now, I need some praisers with me this morning. Oh, we love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We magnify you, Lord. We glorify you, Lord. We've come to bless your holy name. We've come to exalt you above all other things in our lives, Lord. And no matter what happens today, may our praises fill the throne room of God. Oh, if we do nothing else but just praise your holy name, it'll be a day well done. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Now, Lord, I know you're going to bless us. I know you're going to heal us. I know you're going to encourage us. I know you're going to feast us and feed us on the word of God. I know all that is going to happen. But, Lord, we want you to know that we're going to praise you. And we're going to bless you. And we're going to magnify you. And we're going to glorify you above all other things in our lives. This is holy ground. This is a holy time. This is is a sanctified moment in our lives. This is the most important moment of our week, Lord, that we get to gather with our brothers and sisters in the Lord. We get to gather with the family of God. We get to assemble together in the name of Jesus Christ and praise you and worship you and exalt you, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Now, Lord, it is my prayer that during praise and worship time, it would be healing praise, that there would be such an anointing that healing unction would come upon the people of God, that we would praise ourselves right into the healing, praise ourselves right into the blessing, Hallelujah. praise ourselves right into the presence of God. You said we enter in with thanksgiving, we enter in with praise. Oh, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank, thank you, Lord. Lord, as we enter in. You, we're going to find that healing touch. As we enter in, we're going to find that blessing this morning. Miracles, signs, and wonders in Jesus' holy name. Every hand lifted before the Lord. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders in your holy name, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Our Father, all of heaven, rush your name. Sing louder. Let this place erupt with praise. Can you hear it? The sound of heaven touching earth. The sound of heaven touching earth.
atmosphere. The atmosphere is changing now. For the Spirit of the Lord is here. The evidence is all around that the Spirit of the Lord is here. The atmosphere, the atmosphere is changing now. For the Spirit.
loves me. Come on, open your mouths and declare, oh.
of God to rest upon the altar of our heart, the altar of this house of worship, the altar of this nation. We desire the fires of revival yes. to touch this land, yes. to touch our hearts. Do that which only you can do, Lord, a supernatural Holy Ghost outpouring of the fire of God on our hearts on this land, on this planet. Bring forth revival, supernatural revival. A revival of your love, a revival of brotherly love, a revival of peace that passes all understanding, a revival of the saving of souls, a revival of the baptism of the Holy Ghost, a revival of the church triumphant, a revival of hearts crying out to the living God, a revival of people surrendering their lives to the living God, is living alt, living sacrifices upon the altar. Revival, revival, Lord, send forth your fire, Hallelujah. your Holy Ghost fire upon the people of God, upon this land. Yes, Lord, we say God bless America. God bless 
the people of this land yes, with God. brotherly love, Hallelujah. with kindness and forgiveness. Lord, bless this land with the winds of revival. Yes, May every knee bow, every tongue confess Hallelujah. that Jesus Christ is Lord, is Lord, is Lord. Amen. We pray for the church of Jesus Christ throughout the earth today. May it be the church triumphant. And Lord, if there be the churches in foreign lands that are suffering persecution by those governments, Lord, we pray, Father God, that you would protect them. Lord, build a hedge of protection around about them, Lord. And those antichrist forces that would come against the church, Lord, you said that your church will prevail. Your church will be built in the earth today. And we pray, Lord God, that governments that oppose your church, Lord, would surrender to the will of God. Even today, as we pray in Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' name. Lord, we lift up all those on our prayer list, all our loved ones, those that are on our prayer list, those that are written in our hearts, those that we know that need the touch of God, whether they're in a hospital room or their bedroom or in this room, Lord. We pray, Father God, that the virtue of God flows into their life. When the woman got hold of your hem and Lord, hem of your garment, Lord, you said, I feel virtue flow out of me. We pray the virtue of God flows today with healing, miracles, signs, and wonders. May broken hearts be mended, Lord. May discouraged lives be encouraged today. May wounded bodies, afflicted bodies, sick bodies be well and strong. And the church of Jesus Christ says this. Pray it with me. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, we agree with your word. We agree with your word. Your word declares. Your word declares. By your stripes I am healed. By your stripes I am healed. So we speak to our body. So we speak to our body. Every cell of our body. Every cell of our body. And we say, line up. We say, line up. With the will of God. With the will of God. Which is health and healing. Which is health and in healing. In Jesus' holy name. In Jesus' holy name. And the church said, amen, amen and amen. Give the Lord a good God bless. Oh, we bless you, Lord. 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 Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord.
church said amen and amen. Turn to someone close to you. Give them a high five, a knuckle bump, a smile, a, a something, and just tell them it is good to see you today. God bless you. We are so glad that you are here. Awesome. Hallelujah. Didn't you enjoy that worship? <laughs> Hallelujah. It is awesome to have anointed leaders and musicians and singers, but would you give Camille a hand? <laughs> Camille, that was beautiful. Hallelujah. I sent her a text. I said, I think you're supposed to leave worship Sunday and Wednesday. She says, okay, I'll do it. That's what you want. When God gives an opportunity, you say, okay, I'll do it. And she says, I'm on it. And uh, hallelujah. Come on, let's give God praise. Hallelujah. One thing about Grandview, we never take his presence for granted. Amen. His presence is here because we, as a family, have invited him in. If God's presence doesn't show up, we came for nothing. Yes, the word works and all of that, but it's his presence on it that changes everything. Amen. So with me, let's just lift our hands and say, thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. One more time. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Hallelujah. I pray that it just um, online that you can feel what we're feeling here in the house. And we want to welcome you that are, are watching online. We're so glad you chose to be with Grandview Church today. Amen. And anyone visiting with us for the first time, we are happy that you're with us today and we honor you. And right uh, on the back of the chair that is in front of you, there is an information card. And if you would just fill that out so that we could say uh, thank you for being with us. You fill that out and you take it to the back, to that table in the back, and we have a gift for you. You'll love it. It's got sweets. It's got a book. It's got a pen. It's got all kinds of things in here. But we're glad that you chose to be at Grandview today. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Did you guys see that big red bus out there when you came? <laughs> Today is Blood Mobile Sunday, and Grandview always, amen. And Jamie, can I have that t-shirt? And Grandview, we always have a very, very good turnout. Now, do you all remember the, the tie-dye times? Amen. So this says, do good, feel good, donate blood. Do good, feel good, donate blood. You get that free, and uh, maybe you got a flyer when you came in or from last Sunday, but there's a lot that you get by giving blood. They check for the antibodies, and um, you get an a e-gift card, I think, a gift card. And so, anyhow, so make sure that you visit uh, that big red bus. You can't miss it, amen? Amen. And another thing that would be nice is just pop your head in and say thank you for what you do for our community. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. I don't know if Mary Monell was with them, but are you with them, Mary? Would you just stand? Mary does this every day. We are so, so thankful for her. But it truly is a service to our community. And we want to be a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, have you heard about the RAMP conference for our impact teens? They are so excited. Yay. Well, money is coming in. And so we want to thank you. They made just under $1,000 with their ticket sales. Hallelujah. Yeah, go ahead and give God praise. And I think over $4,000 has already come in as just donations. You guys are amazing. Our heart is that every youth, every teen can go to the RAMP conference, and it's July 21st through the 25th. And uh, it's uh, 
held by uh, Karen Wheaton's ministries. If any of you know Karen Wheaton, she gets down with the Holy Ghost. She is a Holy Ghost girl. I just wonder if she was raised Church of God. That's me. And, uh, you know, you want, was she? Yay. She's my sister. <laughs> but Karen Wheaton is just amazing. And one thing, if you send your teens or help to send a teen, right now we have 13, possibly 15 that are going. And we are asking God for a Holy Ghost awakening. Amen. A Holy Ghost awakening that they can go and see all the other teens and youth and they're excited about God. They're not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for it has changed their life forever and ever. And so today after the service, uh, parents, we will have a meeting and that not us, but Mr. Paul, uh, Marianne and, and the team, they will meet with the parents in the Friendship Center after service so that we can explain everything to you. you we want you to know what the purpose is, uh, what the agenda is, what the fees are, but we are determined. Say, we are determined, we are determined. that every youth that wants to go, they can go. Yeah. Amen. You be generous, and I'm going to tell you, God to be generous to that which is precious to you. Would you give the Lord a shout? Ooh. Hallelujah. <laughs> and so we, uh, Wednesday night services, we're back. We're back 100%, everybody. Isn't that good? Oh, come on. Isn't that good? <laughs> to me, that is giving the devil a black eye. Amen. And so we want to encourage everybody to come on Wednesday nights. The time change is helping some. And uh, Wednesday nights is a night to get re refreshed in the presence of the Lord. We always have a good word and we have the presence of God. And we're praying about some things in the future on Wednesday nights. It won't always be the same, but it will always be anointed and it will always be good. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just going to put a plug out. Jamie and I have been asking our CPA to come and to speak to this congregation. He is a Holy Ghost man, full of faith. He understands how the kingdom of God works. And he has been such a blessing to this house. So make that a matter of prayer that at the right time that our uh, CPA, he will be here. He says, I'm ready to come and minister to your people whenever the time is right. Free of charge, not asking for anything. But he's a teacher. He's a teacher of the word. And so I'm excited about him coming here. Amen. Hallelujah. All right, moving on. So Wednesday nights, make sure you're here. We have ministry for the whole families. And Thursdays, we have Truth Seekers with Elder Tom Julian. He's teaching on the book of Revelations. Yay. Elder Tom, I want to give you a shout out. Someone told me I am receiving more from that class than I ever thought I would. And so he studies, this is, you know, he comes prepared and he's got a good word. And then so come to Truth Seekers at 10, hang out, bring your lunch with you, and then come to corporate prayer Thursdays at noon. Those are powerful. Elder Tom Julian leads those as well. And then before each service, before each service, say it with me, before each service, one hour before each service, we have got to hold on to our prayer ministry like it is the breath of this house. Because I want you to know it is the breath of this house. So one hour before service, they meet in the back. You can just come up here and follow the hallway around. They meet there to pray. And it has an impact on this service. It has an impact on every service. So in this house, this house was birthed out of prayer. This house is so dependent on prayer. And so I'm asking you, if you can come 30 minutes before the service, come and pray. Yeah. Even if you only get in for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, just show up. Just come and pray. Amen. Hallelujah. And then uh, next Sunday is Palm Sunday. Yay. 
we will honor and, and celebrate the triumphant entry of Jesus, amen. And at the same time, our impact teams are going to have a fundraiser. And just so you don't have to make desserts on Palm Sunday, they're going to have desserts out there that you can purchase, uh, pies and cakes. It'll be a whole pie, whole cake. And right now, they're, they told me to tell you, come ready to purchase. Uh, it's about $10, I think, a cake or a pie, unless they increase it. You know, it's expensive to bake. And so anyhow, and so some of our bakers here in the house, they are going to be baking some things for that as well. So hallelujah, so come expecting. And then the next Sunday, April uh, 4th, is our Easter Sunday. And then on Friday, April 2nd, we will have our Good Friday. It's a communion and healing service, and God shows up. God shows up at those services. And because of the Good Friday, we won't have a Wednesday service on the 31st. But you know, this is a time for the church of Jesus Christ to arise. It is the time to arise. And it should not be a question, are you going to be at church on Easter? It should be, I will be there and I'm bringing 20 people with me. Amen. Let's believe for a day of great salvation and a week of healings, a week of miracles. We uh, tend to think about miracles as something, well, would it really happen? It has been prophesied that this year is the year of the local church. And so we're believing miracles, signs, and wonders are returning in full force to the house of the living God. Amen. Would you give my honey a praise as he comes? Amen. Praise the Lord. Good job. Praise the Lord. I prophesy every year is the year of the local church. <laughs> Since the Lord walked, every year is the year of the local church. Glory to God. Let me uh, just build your faith for this time of tithe and offering. Psalms 34, begin verse 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. That's a good idea. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. You should just walk through your day. I bless you, Lord. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Have you ever hit your shin on your coffee table and you grab your leg and you say, oh, bless the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> He's a bless the Lord. It's better than the alternative that you could say. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Verse 3, let us exalt his name together. Verse 6. The poor man cried out, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. Verse 8, O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusts in him. Anybody trust the Lord? I, I know you do. O oh, fear the Lord. Verse 9, you his saints, there is no want to those who fear him. No want to those who reverence him. No lack, no want, no lack. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not lack. Praise the Lord. There is no want to those who reverence him. Verse 10. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. Say, that's my verse. That's my verse right there. I'm going to put that on a t-shirt. Glory to God. Look at what it says. Those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. How many, how many of y'all would like to have good things? How about more than enough good things? Glory to God. No lack, no loss, no limits. Verse 11, come you children, listen to me, and I will teach you the ways of the Lord, a reverence for the Lord. Praise God. Let's prepare our hearts right now to receive our tithe and our offering in the envelope, uh, in the seat pocket in front of you. There's envelopes, and you can just make out your check, put it in the envelope, hang on to it. Then at the end of the service, as you're exiting the sanctuary, there'll be attendants back there with the offering baskets. You can just drop it in the basket on the way out. And everybody said amen and amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to sow good seed into good ground. We declare that this seed shall bring forth a harvest of souls saved, bodies healed, minds renewed in the name of Jesus Christ. And we say amen. God bless you in your giving. You are perfect in all of your ways. You 
You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. You are perfect. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways to us. You're a good, you're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm in love by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm in love by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am.